She's open to the entire house while me and Stacy are sleeping. That is scary. <laughs> That's a big smile. <laughs> Can I have a hug. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Bye. I showed you guys taking Braley to the day center, but we already picked her back up. Really, nothing happened between now and then, except we we did make another stop at the post office because. They're saying we all, always have packages there. You guys, I keep seeing us packages. <laughs> We're not gonna do mail time in this video. We'll probably wait another week or so it's just to collect more if there's any more that are coming in so we can do it all at once. I wanna talk about something that I discovered on the internet. This is not sponsored. We are running into a little bit of a new safety concern with Braley. I had to figure out really fast because it was happening really fast. This is her bedroom here. Has everybody even seen her bedroom yet? Here, let me do, <laughs> let me do a quick bedroom tour. This is Braley's bedroom. You have star curtains that we uh, have found on the internet. Not sure of the brand, but they do black out the light a little bit. Not full blackout we found. Kind of blackout curtains. And then we have a dresser over here. This is a dresser from American Furniture Warehouse. It actually came with her bed frame. Her first bed since uh, getting out of a crib. She's had it for quite a few years now. The bed weighs approximately 520 pounds. <laughs> That's how I feel when we move it around. Same with the dresser, very sturdy dresser. And then there's this music box we got here from one of our Wii fam. Came from Renee. Thank you again, Renee. We also have this hanging tent, courtesy of Sam's Club, polka dotted. Carries enough weight to carry me inside of it. Really stuffed animals are in there. For those of that have been with us for quite a while, on this floor, is actually something I did when I remodeled her room. As in paint and flooring that I, would, I don't know if I'd call that remodeling or not. We painted her room and Braley decided it's not the color she wants. So she's been picking at picking away at it. This is Braley's bedroom. We, we keep it simple. Bedtime is bedtime. We don't want to have too much things that will uh, get her excited if she wakes up in the middle of the night, you know? We hope that if she wakes up in the middle of the night, she will fall back to sleep. That has not been happening. Braley can be very unsafe at night. When she wakes up in the middle of the night, say I'm sleeping, Stacy's sleeping, but Braley's awake, unattended, it can become very dangerous. There's just too many things that she could get into that would compromise her safety. We have this doorknob cover that keeps her from being able to open the door. We also do have a working fire alarm that is tested regularly. If there were to be a fire, we would want to make sure that we're in here taking her out of this room right away. She wouldn't know what to do in that case anyway, no matter where she was at in the house. We do have a double lock window, which she has yet to even attempt to open, which is good, um, but I'm getting more and more nervous as she gets older about this window, and so I'm probably gonna look for a solution there. I'm gonna need to get a window lock very soon. We do have the window sensor, so if the window does open, it alerts our phone, it, it alerts the main box, it'll say, bedroom, window, open. Phones might not wake us up, so I think that one of my very soon next steps is gonna be getting a more secure window lock for her. Braley recently has been taking this thing off. She didn't learn how to open it with this. She learned how to crack it open and take it off. And then she takes it off, opens the door. She comes over here, places it right here on the counter to be like, hey, that ain't keeping me in my room. And so this is where it can become very dangerous. She's open to the entire house while me and Stacy are sleeping. That is scary. For one, we have a ledge here that she has known to climb and that is pretty steep drop off there on that side. 
even now without anything here, she's getting tall enough to be able to climb these ledges. She knows how to operate the microwave. She can easily just drag a chair on over and open the microwave, try cooking random things. She knows how to turn it on. We have the door sensor, so we'll, again, we'll get alerted if it opens, but if we're sleeping, there's a chance that we might, may not hear it. Recently has learned how to unlock this door. I mean, it's pretty simple. I think she just uh, paid attention to what we were doing. And then we do have, we have this as a security precaution, this, this stick that we can put in here, but that's not guaranteed to keep her inside. Another uh, thing that I'm gonna have to be looking for is another way to lock the sliding door. The danger continues as she comes downstairs because we have a garage door that this is this is no longer effective. This, she knows how to open it. And I mean, we do have a sensor here too. All she has to do is open that, push the garage door button, and then she's outside by herself. Let's say she comes all the way downstairs. I think downstairs is a more safer room until you think about she could get into the laundry room where the furnace is at, where the water, hot water heater is, all these pipes, the hot pipes, and like all these wires are all the cable stuff. We have our litter box room, which she could get into. Her music room over here. Eh, it, I would be comfortable with this because she may go play the drums, which would wake us up. Safer rooms, because there's not a whole lot to get into. Musical instruments, which she's already used to. There's no reason for her to be in the office at this point right now by herself. So what I'll do is just lock it and then um, unlock it. The office really isn't that big of a deal. I wanted a solution that would not put holes in the wall. Kept looking and looking for an option that would work. An option that would prevent all these possibilities, all these dangers if Bradley was on her own in our house for a long period of time. There's a reason why we have to be around her 24-7. Uh, I want to introduce to you the solution. I forgot what it's called. I know, I already destroyed the packaging. The door monkey. Keep the kids and pets, keep the kids and pets out and let the fresh air in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just laughed at you saying pets. Um, we've actually looked at a bed monitor, which alarms when someone gets out of a bed. That's a, that's a more expensive solution. Uh, or mo some type of motion detector that has an alarm to it. I'll put it right here. Pretty easy to, pretty easy to put on. I'm just gonna pinch it, put it on, boom, just like that. Easy peasy, right? Let's close the door. Look at that. There's a little latch that goes here against the trim, and then um, keeps the door from opening. Actually, and what's really cool about this that I really, the reason why I wanted to get it is because it also prevents the door from closing. There's no way to get fingers pinched in the door. Boom. Well, nothing happening. So say she wakes up. We're over here sleeping, right? She wakes up and she's like, I want out, I want out. Yeah, so the, that's pretty loud. Like, it's bassy. That could wake us up. Especially if we decide to sleep with our door open. Then we'll definitely be able to hear a lot better. I've noticed when she wakes up and she thinks she's being sneaky, she doesn't make a lot of noise. I've came out of my office in the middle of work and she had already gotten into the refrigerator. She'd already gotten downstairs. She had made herself some some chocolate milk. We could go the, the gateway. <laughs> the gateway. We could go the gateway, put a gate in here, but she is a climber. She will, cl she will climb over it instantly. Watch this. Oh my goodness. Easy peasy. All you have to do here is uh, one little button and it opens up. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go all the way up top.
proud of myself for finding that. We do have to make sure Stacy can reach it. $12, well, kind of 13, $12.95. Here's an example of what could happen. Like we could lock every single cabinet. We could lock, we could put away every single possible item that could be dangerous. There's always gonna be something no matter what we do. For instance, the ledge. We didn't think about this when we were looking at houses. We didn't think about Braley growing up. We didn't think about uh, Braley getting taller. We had suggestions where we could uh, put something up here, like a gate type thing, whatever they're called. I don't even know what they're called. Yeah, that is an option. We're not staying in this house. This is not our forever house. And you all know that what, what our goals are, at least for you that have been here. If you're new here, our plan is to be in a hobby farm within the next year. And so we're not gonna go through some major home modifications at this point. What a video. That was a lot of me talking. Way too much me talking. Sing it. Say bye. Pound it.